<clears throat> Alright, Phil. Hey, man. Uh, sorry I've never really talked much with you. I like watching your videos. I've enjoyed the ones that I've seen, and I just saw this re-re-emotion. I didn't know that you had made that until just now. I just ran across it from your page. Man, I just wanted to go. You just ended this with a question. What do I... Well, okay. I know I do talk about great stuff happening and change in the world and all that. And I think it is happening. I don't think it's a destination that we're headed to. There's no... No switch will be flipped and no law will be passed that's gonna fix everything or anything like that. But what's happening is that people are starting to wake up, I think, out of this... I don't know, depression that we've been in for... 50 years, 60 years since the Cold War started, in 1500 years since Christianity took over. I was just talking to someone earlier and I, I said how I think it's time, I mean I think it's time to kind of get away from religion and, and start focusing more on, you know, ourselves for, <clears throat> for a little while and realize that this is the most important thing. Because it is, it is, it is. The religion can come after that, and it can come second, and it can be guidelines and stuff, but this is, the religion is, is, is us, is, is self-discovery, is overcoming fear, our own fear, and it's a personal thing for everyone, and it's different for everyone, and, and we can't, I'm not going to split hairs about who's right and who's wrong, because everybody's right and everybody's wrong. I mean, no one has any idea. Everyone's just kind of experiencing things. So, so I'm all, I want every, I, I want to, to create a place where people can, we can just do that, just kind of experience things for right or for wrong, you know, but just openly experience things. Openness, not violence. Violence comes from a lack of openness. It sounds kind of utopian or ridiculous, but I'm not like, there's no goal. It's just about getting more towards that. I mean, everyone's so closed off. Everyone I know is so closed off. Not everyone. Yeah, great, great, great majority. 99.9% .9 of the people I know. No, you know what? Everyone I know is closed off. Even I'm closed off. We all have improvement to make. Why do I have my headphones on? You know why I have my headphones on? Because I was listening to your video on my headphones. Because I was having a conversation earlier. And I turned my speakers down and I put my headphones on. Um, so I want to continue to do this on YouTube. And then if YouTube crashes and burns and you have to pay to do it, or there's ads or something, I don't know, we'll, another site will start up and then we'll keep doing it there. And it's just, it's, it's emoting, you know, expressing what we feel to a mass of people, expressing what we, are, what we fear to a mass of people. And people, of course, will respond with, with kindness and, and openness of their own and it's just amazing to feel that to, to realize that we're not alone in any in any way shape or form on this planet we have so much of a connection to every other person on this planet and YouTube's a great place because we're not physically next to each other there's no fear of physical violence I think that alleviates a lot of people and we feel a lot more comfortable it's crazy that's how I think the change is happening not so much coming, but it's, it's, it's happening right now. It's happening for all of us. And, and the more we push, the more we, we push into that fear, the more change that happens. And the more people that watch our videos, because the more people, you know, the deeper we get, the more people want to be around that. The more pain we experience, the more people want to be around that. Um, yeah, emotion, fear and love, or I'm sorry, Anger and, and fear and love. Anger and laughter. I think they are not... They're dangerous. They're both dangerous. And they should both be used in moderation. Because someone that laughs all the time, no one really wants to be around that. And someone that is angry all the time, no one wants to be around that. But someone that's very balanced, like for me, for instance, what I'm trying to be is balanced. I'm trying to find the balance. And then every once in a while, I'll laugh or, you know, joke or, I try not to joke too much, but I'll laugh, you know, find humor in things. And it's 
I think that makes people feel good because it's an emotion that everyone experiences and it's done sparingly. And anger is the same thing. It's ang anger and laughter are like the dark side. It's like, it's like the easy way out of trying to connect with someone. And if you use it too much, either of them too much, it ends up doing damage and pushing people away. But in tiny amounts, in moderation, little bits, anger, and you know, people want to see you get angry. People want to see you get fired up. It's fear. It, it's, it's awe-inspiring. It's the same as someone that's really funny. People want to see that, but only sparingly. Because if it's too much, and I do think it's kind of the dark side of emotion to access that stuff, to try and, it's like manipulative. Like anyone can do that without much effort. The balance is so much more important. That's what, that's what, that, that's what it is to speak from the heart. When you speak from the, the mind, but the emotion, that's the heart. You know, you speak from that when you're balanced. This is a long one. I've been doing a lot of long ones lately. I think I'm getting more comfortable with this medium. Someone said that to me. I think Katie said that to me. I think. Maybe it was Terry. Um, I'll talk to you soon, Phil. I, I fucking love your videos, dude. I love that it's all blackness <laughs> in your head floating in the middle. See ya.